That laugh energizes a room. That smile makes you strong on tough days. Those are the gifts Shelby 2's baby girl Cora left her. Heartbroken, knowing what all she um, was going through and how how she did it with so much grace and happiness. At two years old, before Cora learned how to swim, she found herself in the hospital, hooked up to machines to attack an aggressive form of cancer known as rhabdomyosarcoma. It starts in the soft tissue. It invades. So it's like tentacles and it just reaches out. On Valentine's Day 2019, after a trip to the doctor for a sore leg, Cora learned she had the cancer. It caught the family off guard. She had no symptoms. I mean, we just found it by knot in her leg that we thought was just an injury. And um, within days, we found out that it was cancer. Very little is known about this type of tumor. It's found in roughly 400 children a year, half or younger than 10 years old, with few treatment options. Shelby and Cora spent months in Ohio for chemotherapy. The only child at Cincinnati Children ever had, she sat in this huge room by herself, strapped to the table every day for 23 days straight. Strapped up radiation a few months later. In January 2020, doctors removed what was left of the tumor. Cora seemed to be in remission. September of last year, though, doctors found microscopic cancer cells left behind. The mother and daughter travel the country looking for experimental treatment to prolong the four-year-old's life. Good job. Last month, on November 19th, at the age of five, Cora passed away. Every day that you have, even through the cancer journey, is as long as they're breathing and they're here, make it, make it a good day because we never knew that we would lose her this soon. Mom keeps Cora with her always in this tattoo on her arm. Cora wrote me a little note um, just months before she passed away that said, I love you, Mom. The angel wings to symbolize her going to heaven and being my angel. Daniel Pierce, <laughs> Fox oh, 8 News.